Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It took me the better part of three or four years to convince my parents to hop onto either a DSL or a cable connection. Uh, they were stuck on dial-up up until last year. And now that they've moved to DSL, they're, they're happier. Uh, I guess they're on the lowest tier DSL because uh, video sites kind of load slow for them. They, they're not able to even watch the videos that we do on a daily basis at live.perillo.com. And I don't blame them. I, I blame myself for not giving them enough reasons to embrace newer technology. Um, it, everybody's different. It has nothing to do with age. Um, you know, look around your own group of friends, your peers, and think about how many of them, you know, don't really care about technology. They need really solid reasons why they'd want to embrace technology, why they wouldn't want to have, uh, let's say, a mobile device that was eight years old. Oh, no, I'm fine. My uh, hand crank MP3 player is fine, although it's not really an MP3 player. It's more like a mobile LP unit that keeps scratching my vinyl. Top five list right here from Uznaus. He says he doesn't get a, much of a chance to stop by the chat room, but he's got this top five list of, of reasons to embrace technology. So just, again, food for thought. I love these types of top five lists. These are really good discussion points. Number one, efficiency. With the development of technology, the speed at which we can achieve our goals is greatly increased. Processing data and transferring information has never been faster, and we're able to access information much quicker and with greater ease. Data storage and retrieval has developed so greatly that it's almost hard to believe that we were once carrying 1.44 megabytes. <laughs> you know, floppy disks? They held very little data in comparison to today's hundreds of gigs of storage capacity on backup drives and servers, not to mention the physical size of these storage devices has reduced also. Can you imagine 500 gigabytes of floppies? Or, I'm sorry, yeah. Like just stacked up 500 gigabytes of floppies how many would that be someone want to do some quick uh, number crunching there pull out your calculator number two connectivity kind of uh, connecting with people all over the world is by far more achievable with the development of humble of the hel humble telephone fax cell phone and now internet including email voip and instant messaging snail mail used to be or used to take as many as three to four days even in your own state or city and now usually takes one or two days and and a parcel can be sent to another country in as little as five to eight business days less if you choose more expensive courier services etc email is almost instantaneous voip is becoming a very popular way of keeping in touch with people all over the world and extremely cost effective if you're already paying for internet, then you basically have a communications network at your disposal for free, as there are plenty of ways to connect through many different VoIP companies or networks. Uh, technology in general has become more affordable for the average user, whether it's anything from a DVD player, TV, to a computer or mobile device, like a cell phone. And he uses, I, we use the word cell phone pretty much interchangeably with devices that are really not cell phones anymore. It's, you know, they're much more complex and, and wonderful uh, for being that complex, as long as they're easy to use, that is. Number three, productivity. With the amount of technology on the market, both in hardware and software, the productivity rate has increased tremendously. Um, some might argue uh, just the opposite, but desktop PCs have become more powerful and more affordable to the average user, allowing more people to be connected with others, be it for work or recreation. Portable computers and internet almost everywhere, anytime, in developed cities at least, for those that need it, enables work to be done on the road, so to speak. You don't, that's what he's written, you wouldn't want to literally do it on the road, that might be dangerous, I mean, if you were driving. Applications and tools from word processing to music and film editing have become far more sophisticated yet user-friendly, thus allowing more people to access to a multitude of ways to get things done. Mobile devices and, and PDAs allow for, like PDAs, allow for more mobility to the user for pocket-sized task managers, phone, and email access. The term technology does not only refer to computers and email. However, with the development of the computer, other technologies such as cars, ships, buildings, and manufacturing production has increased dramatically, for example. In Beijing, a container is loaded from a truck to a ship every 30 seconds. This would never have been possible 30 years ago, or maybe even less. Number four, comfortability. 
The developments in technology in the home and at work have made our lives so much more comfortable and enable us to have things from light to heat to watching the latest movies or shopping from home. Traveling has become more efficient and more pleasurable as airliners have in-flight entertainment, and if we don't like that, we can always plug ourselves into our MP3 player or other mobile device for those that don't like to read or sleep, and even then, we have the development of e-books so people can read them on their notebook computers. The next development in airline travel is the exploration of Wi-Fi in flight for users to access the internet. We can travel much further by flight or in motor vehicles than 30 years ago, and they may have more features like AC, better stereo, cigarette lighters, so we can change our mobile devices on long trips. Also, they are more ergonomically and environmentally sound. Number five. Gadgets are cool! Literally thousands of gadgets and devices that we really don't need, and us gadget lovers want to buy all of them. Well, a lot of them. Not because we really need them, just because they're cool to play with for about 20 minutes. They fill up the cupboards and drawers with items that we probably won't play with again for a long time. Then for another 20 minutes, and then put them back again. And uh, he has written this apparently from the country of Japan. He goes again by the handle Yuzi Naus. And if I'm not saying that properly, I do apologize. Uh, it's a great list, a fantastic list of reasons. Um, what it's always boiled down to, I think, for a lot of tech neophytes, uh, technophobes, or just people who just you know deal with it because they have to, uh, is a use case. Okay, uh, they have to know why they would use something. You know, you have to justify it to them. Like, well, why would I use email? I mean, letter writing is just fine. Okie dokie. can't really lick a email message. Well, I guess you can. Just wouldn't taste very good. Taste like your screen. That was that was me just cleaning your screen right there cuz see it's a 2D video. I'm right here on your screen and I just cleaned off that little part right there. Kind of nice, huh? weren't expecting that. Technology makes it possible. Saw a little bit of peanut butter over there. <clears throat> if anybody else has any discussion points uh, related to the world of tech around us, uh, feel free to email me, chris at perillo.com. That's how you get a hold of me. And of course, you're also welcome to swing by the chat room, where we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.